Hey, what's going on, Swifters? It's Jimmy Swift here, and I've got a couple friends in the call with me, and this is the very first uh, sort of behind-the-scenes episode for the rise of Ender Swift. So, uh, in the call with me, I've got I Jevin. Oh, jeez. Hello. There he is. <laughs> I've got uh, <laughs> Mr. 360 Games. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> and uh, Dan21. I want some cookies. <laughs> some cookies. <laughs> so, uh, where I'm standing right now, this is the... Hey, no spam in the chat. This is the <laughs> obviously the jail cell that um, that I started out in. And um, just to just before I get started, I wanted to tell you guys sort of a little bit... <laughs> get out of here, bro. I wanted to tell you guys <laughs> a little bit of a backstory kind of behind the... the uh, the series, and uh, the reason I have Dan Twenty One on the call today is because he's actually helping me with the actual storyline. So he'll he'll get a chance to talk about that. No spoilers, bro. But uh, in a little bit. <laughs> but um, but basically, uh, you know, we wanted to start the series um in a jail cell, and the style that I was going for with the series was um somewhat of voice acting but more of like a let's play so it's going to be kind of a let's play with an injected storyline and that's sort of what i was trying to go with um so basically uh we tried to record this or i wanted i recorded this uh with the moody lighting on so as you guys can see now it's pretty bright and i know a lot of you guys had complained in the uh in the the episode that it was really dark but uh we wanted to keep it really creepy and uh, if i go ahead here and turn on the moody lighting you guys can kind of see really how different it looks now um, that we're actually in it. And it's really dark, obviously, but uh, we wanted to go with a really creepy feel, right, Dan? Yeah, it's like the whole point, like prisons and stuff, it's supposed to be creepy and yeah. dark. So, um, so yeah, that's it. And uh, obviously, uh, like, we, you know, we built this whole thing. So then, uh, you know, I wired the – Jevin helped me wire this room here um, for the, the bread. You know, you step on this plate and you, you get the bread, yada, yada. And then, uh, you know, I thought it would be a cool idea to – to make like a hole in this wall, just sort of toss. Oops, it didn't work out too well. Toss the bread in there. <laughs> no, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting right on top. I'm of so the glad thing. I did this in one take. Like when uh. That's funny. I know that you, you didn't mess up on the that, show. I you, know. Yeah. So, anyways, yep, that's the jail escape, and then uh, you know, we sort of built this hallway. So um, what I'm gonna do here is uh, I think Dan wasn't with us the night that the build happened, but um, it was. Uh, Mr. 360 Games and Jevin, and then Frodo helped us a little bit too. So, what do you guys just go? You guys can go ahead and t sort of talk about the build. All right. um, I'll fly outside and show them. Like, um, where I can't it is. remember, Tim. Did did I uh, go down and do this tunnel here uh, really Which quickly? One? I think like when we first started, I think we I built down here and just yep. dug it down, and then you filled it all in with the uh, the prison cells. But yeah, uh, yep. for this part right here, Tim, you said he just wanted like a nice hallway, so it looks a lot better. I'm gonna change actually to the moody lighting. Just and so real quick, guys, guys. Uh, this is gonna be posted on all our channels too. So check out everybody's view. Uh, it's gonna be different each way. So yeah. anyways. Go ahead. So um, we're actually in a ravine right now. If we actually look at the window really quickly, Jimmy even pointed that out in the video. Yeah, I'm but I wanted right to now. follow the shape of it as well, and uh, it kind of has like a. I like the whole curve of it. That was quite neat. Uh, Chimney added in rooms here when he was looking through them, and um, even this little wall here. We even put. Um, we try to make it look kind of worn and old with the crack, and you can see this pillar's broken and stuff like that. It's really simple, but you know these little touches make uh, a big difference. And um, yeah. and uh, the other thing that I did before uh, Jeff and hopped in was uh, work on the staircase and I was working on a little railing just something simple and then add a pillar here yeah. and um, these uh, honestly these tunnels actually took a lot longer than they look this is actually about like you know five ten minutes of just going through cutting a all out and then uh, changing all the blocks around and put a little bit of light at the end just so it looks a little bit creepy I think I'm on, uh, yeah, I'm on uh, paid attention to details like you can tell yeah. this hallway here I mean like you went with the brick all the way down yeah, and, yeah. Like, that's the it's, thing it's, is like I wanted it to be very like well done and like mm -hmm. I know how you guys are in Minecraft videos. You're like you nitpick everything. If something's very, out of place, very, you very picky. Yeah, yeah, you always yeah. tell us. So I was like, well, not only for that reason, but also I want it to be the kind of thing where people can go back and watch it and be like, wow, yeah, this, yeah. they really pay attention. Because yeah, we things. you could have just we could have just uh, done the staircase and just just been a staircase, but yeah. now we want to add little things here and there to make it look just that little bit <clears> nicer. And then uh, then uh, I started working on this, and then Jevin hopped in and he helped with the uh, warden's office here. We just want to kind of like a nice hallway and then it just to be a bit epic you know you walk down here and just it's clear you know this is the warden's office right. and uh Jevin did the you can talk about the the redstone if you want Jevin yeah, um, I mean redstone's pretty basic I just did a, a, a couple wires just behind the wall <laughs> yeah no big deal uh I mean if you really go down there it's just um some redstone torches that just basically act opposite to open the doors um not too much, and then we did the same kind of thing in here for if I can actually get in the room. Uh, if you throw something back here, 
then that opens uh, piston doors back there, which Double actually built that yeah, room. Yeah, so I, I, did, I wanted to make a nice little room, like, you know, it's the warden stash, and uh, so I spent some time making this room, added just a neat little effect to it that looked cool, and then I put this chest here, and in the video, um, I made it, well, stop What was supposed laughing. to happen, hey, huh? Stop laughing. What was supposed stop to happen? Laughing. Okay, well, you were supposed to, but I got tired and went to bed. So at the end of the night, I wanted to uh, so just finish this off and then go to bed. And then you go in the chest, and there was supposed to be stuff in there, but I forgot to there put something in There was supposed to be an here. iron helmet in there that I was yes. going to take on my quest. And I had to totally play it off like, like you live did, You feed. did a really good job, though. Actually, <laughs> Thanks, in the bro. video, Chinmi did a great job acting that out and just acting like, oh, I guess he took everything with him. And uh, anyway, so there, <laughs> there was supposed to be something talking in about there, you, but... though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and Jevin, Jevin's on the Skype call probably uh, with his microphone media going, "No!" Basically, I'm like, "Oh shit!" Like he, I can't believe you forgot that, but it's I all know, right. No I know. Yeah, so I had this epic yeah. room. It was like nothing in there, but that was about it. And uh, we did a little bit of design in here. We just wanted a desk. Uh, the lighting's really simple. We just have uh, hatches up here, with some glowstone, just kind of as a uh, gets like that drop ceiling effect. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what, yep, definitely a drop ceiling. So no, and then, yeah, we have uh, the uh, thing that opens up that little secret door. Then that was about it uh, yeah. with, with the warden's office. Pretty simple and basic. So Dan, yeah. uh, what you had said, wanted to say something a minute ago. What, what did you want to say? I was just thinking, like, uh, since you guys were adding like details and such, it's like it's also helping the story to actually get like somewhere. It's uh, it's it's kind of clear that uh, it's not just like crazy monsters that walk around and just eat you. In this. it's like they are actually have like. Did they have like prisons and they keep being like uh, organized yeah, and such? So it's like real enemies. Like they have some plans and they actually like uh, it's helping the story just get it on. Yeah. Now yeah. speaking of which, Jevin, uh, would you like to talk about your experience in the creepy room? Uh, well, let let's go um, up there real fast first and <laughs> do a little bit of a rant because uh, because Jevin played the guard. You guys probably could tell. I know a lot of you guys in the comments on that video were like, "Oh, I saw the name Belmont 06 at, at three minutes and sixteen seconds." And uh, so of course you did because you guys see everything. And uh, but yeah, so Jevin he he played the guard. Uh, he broke the wall here, but anyways, yeah, he played the guard. So Jevin, uh, actually, he and I were on the same Skype call. Um, and what was happening was, you know, as I was going through this, uh, kind of like a mini custom app, it almost feels yeah, like. Yeah, basically. Um, as I was going through, Jevin is a lazy man, and he didn't want to circle the Ender Pearl for five minutes. So, uh, well, no, what I what I thought was going to happen is if I threw it down, you know, I thought it was going to go away. Right, mm -hmm. right. And I didn't want to throw it down and then have to look at my inventory. And by the time you came down here, I was I was missing it. And I'm just walking around this empty stone like a derp. So <laughs> he, he's coming down the steps, and he's like, oh, I wonder what's down here. And that's my cue. Try to get yeah. it. So I, I throw this thing keys. on here, and it goes flying over. So I'm like, oh, crap, I pick it up again, throw it down. Keeps falling off. I probably did it four or five times, and finally the last one, it lands, like, right there. And then it pops up on top, and I'm just walking, like, praying <laughs> to God he didn't see any of that. <laughs> so, and then he, he's, like, he's like walks up, and he's like, ooh, what's that? And I'm just, like, walking around, like, with my head down, hoping it's <laughs> on the stand, like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. I just ruined that whole recording. Uh, <laughs> no, it actually turned out really well, um, and we, we did it on one take. It was the first take. We got really lucky, like I said, with the bread throwing in the hole and Jevin's little mishap down here. So yeah, There's uh, a lot of things to go wrong, isn't there? Yeah, there were a lot of moving parts, and that's the thing that, like, you guys, you know, that watching it, the final the final version of it uh and you know maybe even subsequent episodes i don't know but like for me to voice act like just by myself is difficult but also then to voice act while i know jevin is listening in the call with his <laughs> microphone muted like you try and do that with a friend like it is hard it is not yeah. easy could have been making fun so, of you giving it all sorts yeah, of stuff yeah. so you're pointing and laughing at the screen the whole time and, no. so um so what we're gonna do now i think is um show the outside of things yeah we can yeah. show the outside if you guys haven't gotten a, a shot of the uh of the actual ravine yet where it's sort of uh, the, built in. Go ahead and do that. Up. And then we'll take them up to the house that Jevin built um, that, you know, my character, which in the story is um, is Chimney Swift at, at this moment. It is me. It is Chimney Swift. It's going to be just me as my voice. And um, we'll kind of, the character will kind of evolve um, over time, but I didn't want to get too far away from who I actually am. I didn't want to act any differently than what I am because I know you guys like, who I am, you like my commentary, and I wanted to keep it, like I said earlier, more of a, of a let's play with an injected story than um, a story with more acting than anything else. So, um, so that's the ravine, and then up here is the house that Jevin built, which looked really awesome. Yeah, and there was some added trees and uh, yeah, grass. Yeah, we, along we the way. worked on yeah. the outside of this for probably a good 20, 25 minutes trying to make it look really thick and dense, yep. basically. Yeah. 
Yeah, we did a good job. And obviously, like, the episode ended with me in the corner here. And um, so now, uh, Dan, I want to talk to you real quick. And I don't want you to give away any spoilers. And if, I know we really haven't even, like, finalized the uh, the plot line or anything yet. But uh, mm -hmm. just maybe, I don't know, maybe to sort of talk about your, um, your uh, sort of inspiration for this story. I know we sort of had just talked one night and you just started spitballing ideas and we kind of came up with something. But just go ahead and sort of talk about stuff. I mean, don't give anything away. But, yeah, no, no, the floor. Just... So go ahead. I don't know. I just I was looking at the screen like uh, your your thing what where you actually slicing the Enderman. and I was like yeah but it's like oh the picture yeah the picture that you yeah, have yeah clarification and I was like yep. it's it's kind of cool thinking that the Endermans would be uh, like your enemy but at the same time I said like if you want to have like some better story in it you're gonna actually have uh, you need some other people to actually help you or be your enemy so that's what your uh, with creepy skin you had on it's like um, this way we could have like different we had the real Endermans, then we have like the lesser Endermans, um, and then I said, why would they be different? It's like a virus or something. And it's like, and from there we kind of like went ahead with the with the, the whole story and yeah. why exactly the, you, you lost your family in that story and uh, right. when we think when we take Amadak, where where is gonna put you and how can Chimney Swift save the world? Mm -hmm. So pretty much um, that's the main thing like be, behind everything is like the Endermans. Yeah, and I'm kind of glad that now the Endermans are getting like I know uh, buff back because like they're so cool yeah. and they're supposed to be scary and, and strong and uh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's so. the thing is like uh, you know obviously we wanted it to revolve around the Enderman and uh, speaking of moving parts and everything, uh, you know there were when one point it came out, you know we were all like yeah Enderman and then you fight him, you're like wow these are really easy. And <laughs> yeah, lame. Like, yeah, I was like nervous because I mean you know. Both Lachlan and I had really played up the the whole fear of the Enderman. You know, me especially, like doing that first video, like Enderman was scary. Everybody everybody was like anticipating the release of them. They were anticipating like the fear coming with them. You know, like nobody wants to die in Minecraft. It's not fun. And uh, then to see them like be easy, I was just like, oh man, this is not going to do well for my series because I want the series to reflect that fear. You know what I mean? Like I want it yeah. to be a creepy series as well. Um, but like. Speaking of moving parts and Jevin, I just remembered this dude uh, because Jevin actually was the uh, the bad guy in the trailer that I shot. Oh like, yeah, the initial trailer. Where I, was, I was stabbing him. And, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, knocked, basically, I was also uh, chimney for a little bit too. So right, right. So uh, <laughs> so the way that trailer links to the first episode was um, basically I went mining. Uh, this dude looking like an enderman pops out with a stick beats me over the head and i get knocked out and i wake up in the first episode in a jail cell that's how it starts that's how the story kind of starts but the funny thing was the night that uh we were recording uh the first episode of, of uh the rise of ender swift um uh minecraft.net was not working properly <laughs> and you couldn't change your skin so jevin we got really lucky dude with, because I thought you I kept already it had, on, yeah. yeah that you already you know, had that Ender Enderman skin still on, so we got really, really lucky. I, I was there. stuck with it. I, I had to do like a lot of episode with my uh, Enderman squ uh, skin just because of that, because like I couldn't change any. Yeah, I was like, wow, it was annoying, but like it worked out for us, and like that's the kind of like I feel like we had a lot of luck uh, in that regard at the beginning of the at the beginning of the series. So, anyways, um, I don't know. Is there anything else you guys want to say? Uh, that's about it. Uh, yeah. I think that's good. Yeah. Besides so, um, those annoying spiders in the trailer. And how annoying yeah. it was to build the ravine or uh, build in the water. <laughs> that was oh, like a good yeah, 20 yeah, minutes. You're raging about that, bro. Yeah, yeah. I was getting really mad because uh, <laughs> actually, it's not just in the ravine. It actually does come and poke out into this river here. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can see there's a little bit here. I was actually flying over here a second ago, and that was just a pain. Yeah. Uh, but I really wanted to kind of just keep going with the ravine thing and make it look like you were in one. Because right. if you, you did look at the window at one point, didn't you? Uh, yes, and you did. pointed yeah. that out. So I wanted it to look like you know it was built to it, and uh, so I stuck it with all the way to the end there into the staircase. Yeah, you can yeah. see the stone brick in the water here. And uh, a lot of yeah. people were asking um, in the actual episode, the comments on Machinima Realm, they were saying, "Will this be able? We, I, we, you know, will I be able to download this as a custom app or, or as a map?" And the answer is yes. Uh, at the end of the series, whenever it ends, I will release this to you guys as a as a world download. <laughs> the, the the thing about this um, is we I picked this location like right here. Um, I don't know how close the other scenes will be shot to this location. Yeah, there's um, going to be a lot of differences, I assume. The nice thing is I will include um, the coordinates for you guys. So I might do, um, I might give you the world, and you might spawn in some place like way off in Timbuktu, and you're like, where the heck is the jail? I want to go visit the scene from the first episode. I'll include the coordinates for that for you guys so you guys can um, can fly there or run there or whatever. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
episodes will be coming out on Machine Realm every Friday, uh, provided that you know I'm not too busy to you know record and get stuff out. If if that happens, I'll probably let you guys know uh, that I'm just gonna miss a week and then it'll be out next week or something. But the episodes should come out every Friday, and um, you know I've got great friends here. You guys check their channels out. They've been helping a lot. Like this, you know, this is my series, but without them. Uh, it wouldn't be possible. So a lot of fun stuff coming. A lot of fun stuff coming up. A um, lot of a uh, lot of fun and cool stuff. Kind of getting into the storyline a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. Just, just uh, and later on and like later behind the scenes, we can talk more about things yeah. and yeah. stuff chip, like chip, that. Chip. So this isn't the only behind the scenes. There's gonna be- yeah, there'll be a lot oh, yeah. more. We're gonna do a behind the scenes for every a whole map to build still. <laughs> yeah, we're we'll, going to so. jail. The sun is right. This is this burn. is nothing compared <laughs> to what it's gonna be. I, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a vampire. This is like a percentage, a little tiny, tiny percentage. All right, some shadow right here. Then you're a vampire. You gotta hide. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. gotta hide right here. This is my cool, the coolest part right here. Look at this. If you go up yeah. this waterfall right here, you can actually get into that secret room that you couldn't get into before. Check that out. Isn't that cool? Oh, oh, there we go. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to actually get in. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's no other way in but anyways you guys uh check these guys channels out they're awesome links will be in the description and um we're actually right now it's uh it's friday morning early early and we're gonna go ahead and get started on the next yep. one so uh <laughs> special treat but yeah we will be doing a behind the scenes for every episode uh that we do and uh, no save the ender pearl no! <laughs> <laughs> but uh that's thank you guys the, for watching that's the famous ender pearl from yeah, the, the famous. episode yeah keep your eyes Better on hold that. on that's to gonna, that some keepsakes yeah that's gonna be uh <laughs> That's going to be have an important role in the story as well. So, anyways, you guys, once again, my name is Timmy Swift. Thank you for watching. And thanks to iJevin, Mr. 60 Games, and Dan21 for joining me. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Bye. Peace. <laughs>